All right, thank you, Tony. We have new details now on a story we've been tracking closely all day long. A man, a man answering to charges in connection with a series of crimes in Cranston. Today's incident forcing police to open fire after they say Hazael de Leon hit an officer and another person with a car. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin was at de Leon's arraignment and joins us live from Cranston and the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, Shannon and Mike, that arraignment happening about two hours ago here at Cranston Police Headquarters. 25-year-old Hazael de Leon, who police say already has a lengthy criminal history, now faces charges in connection with today's officer-involved shooting. A probation violator arraigned on new charges Wednesday night. Hazael de Leon. 25-year-old Hazael de Leon, who Cranston police say was involved in an officer-involved shooting on Wednesday morning. We obviously will be bringing some serious charges against this individual. Newly released from the hospital, de Leon arraigned Wednesday night on five counts of assault with a dangerous weapon, resisting arrest and manufacture and possession of a controlled substance. Police say that substance, fentanyl, is what sparked Wednesday morning's violent showdown. Colonel Winquist telling us detectives followed de Leon to a home on Bain Street because they heard he may have been delivering the painkiller. When they initially attempted to arrest him, he resisted. Um, by backing out of the driveway, he struck one of our unmarked police cars. He also struck um, one of our officers who was attempting to pull the suspect out of the vehicle to place handcuffs on him. Police say De Leon hit a bystander and officer with his car, prompting a different officer to open fire. The officer, fearing for his life, um, followed his training. The colonel says it appears the officer's actions were justified. De Leon was shot in the shoulder, arrested, and taken to Rhode Island Hospital. Back in Cranston on Wednesday night, he was ordered held without bail at the ACI overnight, set to be rearranged in Kent County Court tomorrow morning. And the judge saying at that rearrangement tomorrow morning that De Leon will be presented as a probation violator because he's currently serving a suspended sentence for a drug conviction from last month. Now, we did let you know earlier today that those two police officers and that bystander involved in that earlier incident, they were treated at the hospital and released. And as per, per, per protocol here in the state of Rhode Island for any officer involved shooting, Rhode Island State Police, Cranston Police, and the Attorney General's Office, they are all now investigating this incident. Reporting live in Cranston. Instant tonight, I'm Caroline Goggins, Eyewitness News.